5 a.m. is the time where legends either wake up or they go to bed. And let me tell you, I am not a morning person. However, the time has changed. When I had my family, they required for me to be there when they wake up. So I had to change for completely night person. When I was going to bed at 4 or 5 a.m., to a morning person and trust me it was not easy my name is Lenka Kaslova and I help entrepreneurs and business owners to build and leverage their online businesses through social media and online communication and I also help them to become influencers in their niche so they can do what they love and live their dream lifestyle if you are a night owl like I was and you hated mornings you could not get up and get anything done in the morning, then you understand how I felt when I realized I had to change. But all these changes are worth it. Today, I am much more productive. I get things done so much more, even throughout the day, not only in the morning, but also throughout the day, I have my list of the most important things that need to be done that day and I get it done. That was not normal. When you are building your business, it doesn't have to build this online business, but when you are building your business, you know you have to differentiate from the others and improve yourself and build habits that successful people have. And one of them is waking up early. Not only you get much more time to get things done, your brain is actually fresh, but also you get prepared for the day. You prepare your mind, you prepare your heart, you prepare the whole body for the entire day and you are unstoppable. You get so much more done, you're much more productive, you're fresh and you're confident because you've created habits that while everyone is still asleep, everyone is sleeping and you have already done what needed to be done in the morning. Imagine what that would do with your confidence. Today, I wanna to share with you a few things that helped me make a change from becoming a night owl, becoming a morning person, what my routine is and what helps me feel good about waking up so early. First of all, it all starts the night before. If you're a person that needs to like have breakfast right after they wake up, you better prepare it the night before so when you actually go eat, it's ready. You don't have to prepare anything or waste time in the kitchen to prepare your breakfast. Also, when you need to get something done in the morning or you want to do something specific, again, it needs to be prepared and planned the night before. And last but not least, you need to get in bed early. It depends how many hours you need to sleep well there are a few things like colder room really dark no lights on no phone next to you no tv on that help you get much better sleep even with less amount of hours for years i've slept like three four hours but as i grow older and i need a little bit more beauty sleep and my kids really drive me crazy sometimes throughout the day i do need more hours so I have times where I'm on like five, six hour period. And some sometimes I really do need those eight hours. So depending what time I need to get in bed, I make sure I do. And if you want to build that leader's habits, you will need to be consistent and do it on every single day or at least five weeks a day. So you have it as a routine because once it's it's like exercise like if you exercise five times a week then when you are not going that sixth and seventh day you actually miss it eventually like when you do it for months maybe even years you miss it and that day you feel something is missing and you do need to go moving go and work out 
go, go for a run or something. That's actually helping me a lot because when I wake up and I know that it's a day when I go running, sometimes, especially when I'm starting, it's very hard because even the night before it's killing me and I'm already annoyed and I don't, I'm not in a mood of going. So the night before I prepare myself and I make a goal, I have some special place, some, some new place that I'm going to, something that will make me wake up and I have a plan. Maybe I want to shoot a video for you guys, something interesting that will motivate me to get up in the morning, but I prepare it the night before. And when I'm not going, because I like to rest, like I, when I really run and it's usually during the hot time, like no rain, no cold, I, I find some other exercise or workout when it, the weather is not good. When I don't go running, I know what I'm gonna do and my routine is always the same because you're not thinking about it. I love five second rule that helps me to get through anything in my life that I don't feel like doing. I know that the moment I don't feel like it, I immediately think of that rule. If you haven't read that Mel Robbins five second rule, you have to read that book. What it basically says is your mind is protecting you from anything that you fear, anything you don't feel like doing. So you feel comfortable. You you immediately start making up excuses about anything and we are masters of that. You will actually talk yourself out of anything. So make sure that you understand this five second rule. It's like I'm thirsty and there's a glass of water in front of me. I, I, I just grab it and have a drink. I don't think about it because I'm thirsty. And the same thing you need to program yourself to do these things every single morning the same way. You're not thinking about it. It's, it's, it's normal. You know, you wake up, you get up immediately. What I recommend with alarm clock is either have it in the next room so you will have to get up and us moms that don't want to get the whole house woken up so we have that time and have those hours for whatever we want to do, then we need to get the alarm clock pretty fast. So that's a good one. <laughs> and it needs to be something that you either hate or that it will really get you up or that really motivates you. That's like pumping you up to get you the energy that you need. The alarm clock, I don't know about you, but like once it's like for a week or two, I wake up like two, three minutes right before it goes on. So I have the time to put it off and it's not even ringing. So I program myself to wake up like a few minutes right before the alarm clock. I always work that way, which is good because it's quiet. <laughs> the next thing that I need to do personally is really refresh myself. So either take a shower or at least like splash the water in my face. So I refresh, I'm so dehydrated, I need a glass of water immediately after I get up. And then, like, I don't even feel guilty about that because I need my coffee and I found a healthy version of the coffee. Plus, it's actually weight loss, so it totally fills my cravings for like most of the day actually, but until the lunch where I actually do have to have a big meal, then I, I'm up. I used to really struggle with food cravings, sugar and all that stuff, no more. So I love my coffee. I cannot go without it. <laughs> and it puts my energy up, really healthy version. So I'm not even guilty of drinking that coffee. What I recommend you to do with the time that you have is not really do something that other people want you to do, but it's your time. You woke up early to get things done for you, like the self-care, self-love, personal development, journal or review your goals, read a book, maybe even exercise, I do exercise. So that way you've really prepared your mind, heart and body for the entire day. This is Quiet Leadership from David Rock. You know, I really, really recommend you review your goals during the morning because you need strong why. You need a reminder why you are doing all this because you will have days and nights where you don't feel like it when you are so tired and you want to sleep in. 
but keep that routine going. Remember your why, review your goals every single morning and take care of yourself. So make sure you're doing same things in same orders and you have a specific routine you're repeating every single day for a longer period of time, at least two, three months. So you create a new habit and you reprogram yourself and get the most out of that morning and you raise up that productivity and actually enjoying this process. Let me give you one more tip. If there are things that probably don't have to be done that day, but you are pushing it ahead of you because you really, really don't feel like doing it, but you have to eventually get it done, get it done in the morning. Like when you have almost the end of that period that you have for yourself, you are limited on time. Let's say it's 30 minute task. You have like 20 minutes to go before you know that somebody will wake up or before you have to get ready for a job, whatever that is coming next then you are under pressure with time and when you actually get it done or at least almost done then it's such a relief you will feel proud of yourself and if you keep doing it every single day if you get like right before that moment under the time pressure and get things done you will feel so much confident when you're doing it for a longer period of time and you're getting things done like right in the morning and you have that amazing feeling that it's over it's done you don't have to worry about it anymore then you feel great the entire day at least the morning so create this little habit and it will do miracles to you, to your confidence and also to your business because you get things done. So hopefully this was helpful. Drop me in the comments if you're morning or evening person, when are you getting up or how much hours do you need to sleep? Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when the new video is up and I will see you next time.